Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's Only. It is Thanksgiving time, which means that it's our Thanksgiving slash Christmas holiday all wrapped into one. And we're starting this journey off today in our local antique store here in the hometown of mom and dad called Trash and Treasures. We're on the lookout for some Christmas decorations because a lot of ours took a poop last year and we're kind of low on supplies. So we're looking to fill in some gaps and enjoy the holiday season. So please join, join It's All Me and its family as we celebrate the holidays. So we already found one thing, it's not Christmas, but Tiny and I really want to go biking together. So I think this is the obvious choice is tandem bicycling. And we're gonna get this for Tiny as well because she's still learning how to ride without training yeah. wheels. <laughs> and it's so cute, it's a radio flyer. Yeah, it's vintage. <laughs> so here's the seasonal section, at least one of them. All the Halloween stuff. A little Christmas tree. And then some Christmas stuff. I like that little tree. 22 bucks, I don't think so. And then Christmas. Oh, look at that ornament. Coke. Christmas Coke. It's an ornament with a black Vikings hat on. Don't look at my gift wrap, okay? It's for your it's supreme. Yeah? Fine. Oh ho! Nice. Found this. It says try not to drop everything. What? Forty to sixty on the eBay, baby. Following tiny. Finding some goodies. Seth is already like, all right, let's get there first before they get there, so we can get all the good stuff. I'm gonna jump right back to the Christmas stuff because that's what I'm here to look for. I'll show you also something that I found. <laughs> So, my parents' hometown is called Rockville City, and Seth and I were homeschooled, but we, but we also attended the school district for a few years, and it was called the Rockville City Wild, Rockville City Litton Wildcats. Well, I found this minty booster jacket, Wildcat Booster, Rockville City Litton. Now, the thing about this school district is it doesn't exist anymore. It was it consolidated with a couple nearby towns. So this is vintage now. all the Christmas stuff. That's cute. All right, so we found some old lights here. We need to repair the upper half of our small tree in our bedroom. So let's see if they work. Yeah, it's perfect. And it's super Christmassy. So there we go, we found one thing that we need. We're also buying other things, but you just haven't seen them yet. Tiny's looking at Christmas ribbon. Christmas glasses. Yes. What are these? Oh, they're little steak lights and they're solar powered. Oh, that's fun. A little candy dish. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. All right, so we found some outdoor lights for our, our deck. So that's great. Tiny's looking at some garland which matches her outfit really nicely. Oh, it makes her look like an angel. I could wear it. I could wear it like a Christmas You could. Tree. You could look like Moira on Ish Creek. <laughs> it's a lot of garland too. That actually looked really nice on our tree. Yeah. I was actually thinking I want to line like a doorway or okay. something with yeah. garland. I was actually thinking like natural looking garland like this, mm. but not opposed to really bright. No. Gold. And it's a buck? Three. Three? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's a lot there. You can even piece it out too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Look at the snowmen. We always like snowmen. That's why we man. have so many. Yeah, we've somehow managed to collect a horde of snowmen figures over these last few years we've been married. And we don't even realize how it happened. It just, everyone's like, hey, we're getting rid of some snowmen. Do you want them? We're like, yes. So we just have a ton of snowmen. We'll have to show you once our, our house is fully decorated. I'll have to show you guys. Yeah, just look at all these fun things, all consignment, all with a story. We got some glitter balls, we got some gold balls, we got some green balls, but no blue balls. I'm sorry. Disney princess stocking? Yo, I'm gonna get this right now. Hey, look at this tree skirt. That's pretty. That's pretty. And it's stained though. Ooh, look at this one. Fancy. Whoa. Wow. 
Our house isn't uh, that expensive. No, we're, we're not that bougie. No. And more glasses, more glasses. Mm -hmm. This little candle holder. It's mm -hmm. cute. That is cute. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool cup. So classic. Yeah. All sorts of things. Oh, we have these. We have that. These are home. We drink uh, eggnog in them. Look at this. Ew. <laughs> that creeps me out. That, that would legit come alive and like be like walking through the house like this it's, in the middle of the night. It's gangly arms. Yes. <laughs> it's so creepy. Ew. I don't think I've ever shared on my channel how much I love pastel colors, but like Easter decorations. I just love, I love Easter colors. Like it's not even Christmas time yet, technically. It's Thanksgiving is tomorrow, but I'm already for Easter. Now we come into the old glasses. Oh, look at that. Got this old Minnie Mouse cup, 1987. That's when I was born. This thing's 34 years old. Dang. From Walmart 25th anniversary. Boy, Mickey Mouse Club. Mercy, that has some age to it, kids. All the old, all the old goodies. And tiny. What, what time to find? With anything you want. Is it for like food? Yeah, it's a bowl, but you can fill it. And with any color tissue paper you want. Decorate it, or flowers, or. Oh, that's true. Like rocks. This, the, or rocks. This has what? flowers in it. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, either. Wow. Or candy. You can put candy. Candy. Mm. Some jelly beans or something. Look at that the thermos. That's fresh. We're all finished up. We got two bags of goodies. We're actually gonna drive out either last night, or actually I think it was yesterday morning, a truck stop just outside of town that uh, has served a lot of this community actually burnt down. So we're gonna drive out there and uh, take a look at it. There's like $5 million worth of damage done. So we'll see how close we can get. We'll uh, take a drive out there and see what it looks like. Well, we drove out to the gas station and we couldn't get close enough to really showcase it to you. So we're back home now. We're back in the Christmas atmosphere, the Thanksgiving miss atmosphere. And we got grandpa and aunt 90 playing with the man. The huggable hero. <laughs> Say hi, buddy. Hi. He said hello. Say hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. What are we watching, Manly? Elmo. You watching Elmo? Where is, where is Elmo? Can you point to him? Manly, take me to go. Take me to Elmo. Can you take me to him? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Where's Elmo at? Huh? Elmo. Are you playing with toys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, yeah, that's Boompa. Yep. Stand with Boompa. Bye. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. It's We're outside in a crisp, cool 30 degree afternoon here in Rockwell City, Iowa. And we're going to launch Seth's drone and look at Rockwell City from 30,000 feet in the air. <laughs> Yep, 30,000 feet. So once this takes off, then you're gonna get the vantage point from the drone. And Sess and Shorts, as we told, told you last year during the ITS AK News Blizzard Report, you need to wear high socks, vintage shoes, and shorts, and Seth is adhering to those standards. Yep, All right, here we go, backing up. Plane's getting ready for takeoff. Wow! All right, we're gonna go ahead and transfer to the drone footage in three, two, one, go!
hello and welcome back. Uh, it is now Friday after, no, Saturday after Thanksgiving. <laughs> and Tiny and I are in Fort Dodge doing some late Black Friday shopping. And we stopped at the local favorite known as Taco Tico here in Fort Dodge. If you're from this area, you know, it's fire. It's Mexican food, it's delicious. So here's what we got. This is the enchilada platter. We got a taco, we got enchilada, chips, refried beans, Mexican rice, deluxe burrito, chips and salsa. And Tiny got a chicken and rice bowl. Mm -hmm. And literally the best. Literally the best. It's just this little, kind of little hole in the wall place. Only two of them in the entire state of Iowa and it's absolutely amazing food. So to those who are in, from the Fort Dodge area or surrounding communities, you know how good this place is. So we're gonna dive in. And then we're gonna go over to the Crossroads Mall where I did my Dead Mall video earlier this year and give you an update on, on the condition of it. All right, Dead Mall update. This is the first location that Gert and I walked into for the Crossroads Mall and Fort Dodge Dead Mall video. And as you can see, it is completely ripped open. So that would have been where we walked through that little Crossroads entrance area and we walked through these storefronts and now it's all open and ripped apart and that's the old yonker store i used to work at down there so now we're gonna go inside and show you that there's even more dead storefronts as there was earlier what am i saying <laughs> so we are back in the crossroads mall i was here in june it's now almost december it already feels that much more dead in here, which is crazy to say. Because Bath and Body's still here. Wow, okay, this whole wing is dark? What? Wow, yeah, this has never been dark like this. Pretty lively in here, huh? I think it's sad. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Really. Time to do some shopping. I'm not gonna find a lot of deals here. Nope, we've been here every holiday season since 2000. 18? 19? Wow, these storefronts are open. Um, why? No, it's so dark in here, too. Look at this, it's just, it's crazy. Are we finna go in here right now? It goes all the way in the back. Like what? I don't know. They must be working in these. And like, what's in that all the way in the back there? Yeah. Oh, this is busted through too. They must be doing a demolition in here as well. For some reason, this feels like sketchier to me than walking around the crossroads. Seriously. You know? Yeah. Me too. And this one is wide open? Yeah. There's like stuff in this one. Yeah, like Christmas decorations. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's pitch black in here, people, but this is it's weird to just be in these storefronts. I literally can't see the floor. It's so dark in here. smells like fruity in here. It's probably because of Bath and Body. Oh, that's what it is. It does smell really good in here. Yeah. Yeah, they must be prepping these for... Yeah, they got like trash bags and stuff. Wow, this is... I wasn't expecting that. Seemingly every time we go back to a dead mall, it's gone to another level. Even this one's unlocked. I don't know. But there's Bath and Body. Still thriving. <laughs> As usual. Living life. Yep. And we just realized that there's a independent buckle store that's opening in two days. So that means the buckle's going to be leaving the mall too, which is one of the main stores. Even Claire's is open. Okay. What is happening? I have no idea. Bad security in here. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, buckle up here is gonna close. And then they're gonna be down even one more store. 
That's it. It's just, just constantly dying. More and more and more and more. Even though Buckle's moving, it's still full of inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, filled. I, I just realized that this mall is no longer decorated for Christmas, which means it's at an all new low. This is the first time I've been in this mall since 2019, 2020, 2020. We were here in 2020 yeah. and it was still decorated for Christmas. Yeah, it was. So for the first time in the life of this mall in my life, it's not decorated for Christmas. And this mall used to look beautiful Aww. for the Christmas holidays. Look at it, it's just, sad. it's just empty. Everything's empty. Put up gates over here too. That's closed. Is it closed for good? What's the sign say? It's a little little jail cell. <laughs> What's this say? Amigos, we have moved to our new location. Wow, so this is gone now. This was still here. Oh wait, also located within the mall, unit A15 facing south. Our new location. Yeah. Is located in the mall. We have moved to our new location in the mall. How do you know the unit? Just a dead restaurant i've eaten here once i wish this was open so i could go walk around inside oh, of here you know what? I saw this. oh it's the old uh it's the old bonanza yeah it's the old bonanza okay so there you go a deep look into a, a dead restaurant this like i said i think it used to be like a western steakhouse of some kind i can see that yeah i i think i literally i'm pretty sure i ate right behind this wall my one time i ate here it has Texas Roadhouse vibes. Uh-huh, yeah. And kind of like Pizza Hut with these lights too. Yeah, very Pizza Hut-esque lights, for sure. Get some bikes and go ride them around. Oh, that'd be so cool. That's something I'd be willing to get arrested for. Mm -hmm. Is this unlocked yet? Nope. Oh, All right, there? yeah, there was. All right, we're gonna go in this mug. This is gonna be construction headquarters. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's so cool. It's embroidered. Yeah. That's cool. So this would have been the old Iowa State University office. This is where they must be moving their demolition efforts this way. And this is like their main office here. And they used to have different offices, obviously, as you can see. Yeah, 
It's a gutted bathroom. Yep. Oh, there's an old Rue 21 rug. Do you, Rue? I do. Not here anymore, though. All right, let's not press our luck. This mall is currently open for business, so. Me too. Yep. I wasn't expecting that today. That's that's usually how it goes for us in dead malls. <laughs> but as you can see, it's at a, an even deeper level of abandonment and death than it was even just a few months ago. It moves fast, it really does. That would be the worst one to have because it's like a gummy, mm -hmm. more porous, where these are just hard candies, so. Yeah, we were just wondering how old this candy is. It could be rotated on a somewhat decent basis, but I doubt it. These stickers have probably been here since 2007. Oh, probably earlier. <laughs> Little twisty bracelets. Hey, that's a reindeer. Hey, there's still one in there. Oh, yeah. And there's one in there, too. There's two balls. What if you opened one up and something came out? I always... Oh. I love these ones because you twist it and then you pull. And yeah. It comes slowly out and yeah. then you get to see what tattoo or sticker you got. I know. I always used to imagine that somebody would like put money in and twist it and then just leave it there for the next person to find something. Yep. I don't know why I never did that. For someone yeah. else, you know, yeah. like wow. Seriously. Such a great idea is just going to waste. Yeah. Make sure, make sure there's no Lucy's in there, no Lucy Gooseys. Sure. Nothing. Nothing left. Wah, wah. No freebies today. Not even for Thanksgiving. Week. Week. Where's the holiday cheer? Seriously. Alright, don't get run over. Try not to. It's like Bill's trying to back out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is another update here at the Crossroads Mall. We've been keeping tabs on this place for a number of years, just like we were on the Crossroads Mall at Omaha. And it just keeps getting worse. And well, we know what happened in Omaha. Did you just call this the Crossroads? It is the Crossroads. Oh, it is? Yeah, they're both Crossroads. Oh. Yeah. That's just so I know, right? <laughs> I was just telling Tiny about the lore of Car Lady. Now this really only exists within our small friend group, Seth, Gert, and myself mostly. And basically what happened was uh, we were driving around one night and we ended up out by the giant dump where people take their trash and burn leaves and all that such. We just kept driving past it. We never driven past that area before. We just kept driving past it. And we ended up where they would take old beat up useless cars middle of the night 
I don't know, maybe not middle of the night, but maybe like, you know, between nine and 11 o'clock at night, pitch black and we get to the entrance and it's just creepy, just like old car parts stacked around. And all of a sudden we see this old car parked on the side of the road by the entrance of this location. And we're like, is that a person inside of that vehicle? And this dude has the largest truck known to man. Pull the way up. And we're like, is that, is that a car sitting there? And is that a person in that car? So I turned my vehicle and I shined my headlights in the direction of this vehicle. And there's just this lady sitting in the front seat of this car, staring at us at the entrance of this dump. And we're like, what the heck? And we take off. We come back like a couple days or a week later and that same car is sitting in the exact same spot, but there's no lady in it. Then we come back like a week later again or whatever and the car and the lady are completely gone. So do with that as you will. I have a feeling that we're dealing with like looters or people coming to steal parts from the old vehicles or whatever. But talk about something creepy. So I asked Tani, do you want to do some more shopping or should we go see if Car Lady's still around? And she said, Car Lady. Yeah. So we're gonna go see if Car Lady's still around. And if I can remember how to get there. <laughs> well, after a few wrong turns, we're back on track. <laughs> Tiny's laughing, but she uh, she did she maintained the faith. She's like, "You want me to look up directions?" I said, "No, I'll, I'll get there." I, we've now discovered the landfill. Here's the landfill, and I've come here a few times with my dad when I was a kid. It was always fun to go to the landfill just to see the only mountains in Iowa, except for up in south southeast Iowa, <laughs> South Road, Iowa. Apparently, what am I saying? Um, I, except for in southeast, north. <laughs> Northeast Iowa. Holy oh moly. Gosh. Am I tired or what? Those sweet tarts are straight to your head. <laughs> Seriously. By the way, hey, hold that up real quick. Okay. Folks, you need to get on these sweet tarts. Chewy fusion. Holy moly. Those suckers are delicious. Oh, wait, there's amazing. all the dead cars. Oh, yeah. Wow. Dang. Teen Ministries, Jesus Saves. Oof, not anymore. Wow. That's creepy. This is This is where it was. This is where Car Lady was. Oh, wow. This is actually creepy back here. Right? Is this a dead semi? No, this is going to bring in this. Look at this stuff. Oh, my oh. gosh. Look at all of these. Look at this stuff. Be careful driving around here. There's going to be nails. Yeah, that's true. Wow. wow. It's literally just filled with vehicles down there. Just tons of them. Oh, my gosh. And it just turns into this. I mean, we're just driving the road and all of a sudden we're in this. Yeah. Look at all the cars out there, folks. Wow, look at that tiny. I know, it's crazy. So this is where, in this area here, is where that lady was just sitting in a vehicle. I'm gonna drive up here and turn around. Ew. Like and nothing. just staring at us. She's on the side of the road right here. Ew. Yeah, just staring at us. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. yeah there's an old house back here. What? The old house oh, back there. yeah. Wow. I mean, that's a cute little house. If it weren't overrun by junk and Seriously. trees. Look at that, folks. Look at that vantage point. From landfill to junkyard. Junkyard, that's the word I've been looking for this entire time. Junkyard. <laughs> Did you said it call it a dead car lot? Or where something? yeah, where you like where they would bring dead cars. Yeah. Like junkyard. Junkyard, yep. Good old junkyard. Wow. Yeah. But this is where Car Lady was, and this is where I first discovered Car Lady, just sitting on the side of this road. Creepy. Late at night. Awaiting probably not scalpers, but people coming to loot these old vehicles. Looters. Yep. Not to be confused with tutors. Tutors. These huge, like, tankers and wow. this thing has a giant magnet on it. It's crazy. Ooh, it's a big road sign, third street sign. Oh. That was cool. Yeah, see, like, there's there's legit. There's stuff here that people would want to come and go through and okay. take and sell. They put this there on purpose. Oh, yeah, so you can't go in there. Away. Yep. Wow. Block the road. And then over on this side, you've got dead school buses with a truck sitting on top of it. Like, that's oh, a really, that that's a cool pick. School buses, like old trucks. 
Got some bikes. You can see that some vehicle parts have already been put through the crusher and they're literally in a box. Or no, I, those might be refrigerators based on some of the stuff I can see in there. Just a bunch of trash. Definitely looks like there's a bed. There's bed springs in there. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yep, bikes and that old, old excavator thing. Yeah. With the white cab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over here, just so many things. Sanitary services, not much anymore. This car, doors ripped wide open. Old semi truck. Wow, look at that old old truck back there. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Ooh, I thought I saw a car flying up behind us, about poop my pants. <laughs> Get another pick here. No dumping allowed. No dumping allowed, that's the landfill. Wow, I cannot think today. <laughs> these, these old cars are just so cool though. I would love to just walk through there without getting arrested or chased by an axe murderer. Or a nail stuck in your foot. Get a nail stuck in your foot, yeah. No, this is really cool. Isn't I want to go in real bad though. Yeah. There's another car just sitting on top of two vans. What? It's a Mustang. Oh my god. Just a Mustang. No, it's not. Is it a Mustang? Oh no, it's not. It looked like it was. Yeah, Harvest Baptist Church. Yeah, that's not running much but anymore these you days. You know they're doing this for fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. But there's some oldies in here. Like there's some old cars. Like these are old. It makes you wonder when they first were put here. You know? Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess we'll have to find our ball some night and get gussied up in dark clothes and just come out here and sneak around. Oh yeah. With mom and dad. <laughs> That one's been spray painted. Another, another car sitting on top of another car. Old Jeep. Oh, that's epic. Wow. Single cab Jeep. Wow. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, if you were to drive out there in the middle of the night and this well, one of those old cars has someone sitting in it. Now, to give you a picture of what this person looked like, if you've ever seen Home Alone 2, the pigeon lady, the dove lady, the homeless lady in Central Park, that's who it looked like sitting in this front, the front of this vehicle. And you're just like, yeah, there's not enough nope for this situation. And then you get to drive away from it freaked out as you drive by the landfill <laughs> where it smells like sulfur and dump. So, yep, there you go. Good old car lady. We're back home now and I wanted to showcase some of the items that I got during our Christmas celebration because this year we celebrated Christmas as a family on Thanksgiving week because Seth and Kaylee will be with Kaylee's family for the Christmas holiday. So we did some small gifts for Tiny and myself because we'll spend Christmas with my parents. And so I'll showcase a few things that I got from them as well as some gifts that I got from Seth. And you're gonna question what year it is. You're gonna think, is this really 2021 because of the gifts that Jesse got? But yes, we are still in the year 2021. But here's what we got. Um, as we know, as of recently, I've been sharing that I'm a collector of old school WCW toys, specifically Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And I got this, uh, I think this came out in 1998, I believe. And the Hollywood Hulk Hogan toy and then we got some WCW NWO stickers. This is one of three. I just recently put two other stickers on my computer. I got some Burger King Kids Club action figures, which are from, shoot, early 90s, I think. Let's see, 1990. 1990, these suckers are 21 years old. Wait, 21, is that right? Oh my goodness, 31. 31 years old, 31 years old. And then I got uh, the Spirit of Christmas album, of Ray Charles, Heart in Motion from Amy Grant. They're both on cassette tape. Again, what year are we in? Well, it's still 2021. Seth got me this, and you're probably wondering what this is. This is called the Grim Ripper. It's from a Buttheads toy line. And listen to this. Yeah, and more. Yeah. That, and ladies and gentlemen, I am 34 years old still. Then um, got this World Trade Center book from my brother. This was 
when the, the terrorist attacks happened on 9-11, I became transfixed with the World Trade Center towers and everything that happened that day. And this is a book that basically covers those events as well as just showcasing the beauty of those towers. So this is a gem of a gift for sure. So there's that. And then today, when Tiny and I were in Fort Dodge for Black Friday stuff, I found this. I'm a massive, massive NSYNC fan. And this was a must buy. This is a Pop Funko 2021 Walmart exclusive with all five members of the band in some of their highlighted uniforms that they wore while they were performing on stage with a uh, plastic vinyl record behind it. It doesn't actually play, but it's just for, you know, showcasing purposes. And then it has the album cover from their very first album there as well. And it's in plexiglass, so you can hang it on the wall and showcase it. But yeah, there you go. Yes. Oh, and this as well. This was a brochure from the summer of 1973 for the Friar Tuck Inn. And Seth gave this to me. This is the 500 room Ru hotel and resort that uh, Seth, Tiny, and I went in. Speaking of Tiny. In her new Christmas jammies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's this. Has the rates, uh, the weekend rates. Let's see. The deluxe room, first or second floors, twin beds or double beds, 65 a weekend, 97.50 for a holiday weekend, 26 bucks for any day during the midweek. Soup and entrees, desserts, all sorts of cool stuff. So that's a really cool piece of history from the Urbex adventure we had inside the Friar Tuck Inn. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are leaving Ma and Pa's tomorrow to head back to normal life for the next few weeks before we head back for Christmas. It's a little get, getting a little dark here, but I wanted to, to set the tone to finish up. But yeah, that's been the It's All Me Thanksgiving week, thanks, Thanksgiving celebration. Thanks for joining us here again on It's All Me. It's always great to be home amongst the Christmas lights, amongst the family and amongst the love and the good food. Cause I've been off keto this whole time. So I've been gorging on all the non-keto items. But as always, it's all me and no foot. Thank you for joining us and we will see you on the next one.